We are only two weeks out until the November 14th, 2018 launch of Fallout 76, and in the days leading up to that, Bethesda has opened the game up for beta tests. I myself managed to play a few hours of the game on Xbox One X, and I've shared my impressions in a previous video. For me personally, what I found was that while there is a fun gameplay loop and character progression system there, especially if you can manage to team up with a group of four, the lack of proper NPCs, the focus on passive narration rather than active story participation, the shallow quests, the generally empty feeling world, and the technical hiccups marred the overall experience. It felt less like a proper Fallout experience in a multiplayer setting, and more like a Fallout playground for players to tour, like a play without actors that the audience can walk around in. I didn't have a bad time with it per se, but for my preferences, I found that the game struggled to keep me hooked a few hours in. At the same time, I don't want to make any final judgments before the final game launches. After all, the whole point of a beta is to stress test the game and help sort out all the kinks while giving players a glimpse of the kind of experience they can look forward to. Now, according to Bethesda's schedule, the beta will be hosted for a grand total of six days. October 27th and 28th were reserved for Xbox One owners only, and then on October 30th, the beta opened up to all platforms, so Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Unfortunately for PC players who preloaded the beta days in advance as they looked forward to checking this game out, disaster struck when a bug prevented them from playing the game for a significant portion of the 4 hours designated time frame, from 7pm to 11pm Eastern. The bug in question, according to a multitude of playtesters, caused the Bethesda client to delete Fallout 76's beta files, which are a whopping 50 gigabytes in size. The whole point of allowing players to preload the beta was so that people wouldn't waste precious time downloading files and instead would be able to dive right into the game as soon as servers went up. But as a result of this bug, when PC players try to log in, they found that all 50 gigabytes worth of game files had for some reason been deleted, forcing them to re-download everything. Now, some people may have been fortunate enough to have fast enough internet to be able to re-download the files and still play a good chunk of the beta, even if one or two of those hours might have gone to waste. But others who only have access to slower internet speeds may have found themselves missing out on the beta outright, unable to download 50 gigabytes in time. There were also reports of people who did have fast internet, but for some reason, when trying to re-download Fallout 76's game files following the deletion bug, the download speed for Bethesda's client slowed to a crawl. So even PC players with good internet speed might have missed out on most, if not all, the beta for October 30th. News of this incident began to spread like wildfire across the internet, as a bug of this nature is unprecedented and unheard of. Bethesda obviously caught wind of this and began warning players through their Bethesda support Twitter page, which posted foreboding warnings such as, We are currently investigating login issues with the Bethesda Net launcher. Thank you for your patience. And PC Fallout 76 beta players, we are aware of an issue with a client and are investigating. Do not click any buttons on the client for the time being. The Fallout official Twitter page then tweeted, We are actively investigating an issue causing PC players to re-download the Fallout 76 beta. If you see a progress bar, please allow the download to complete. Thank you for your continued patience while we work to resolve this issue. When the 4 hours beta session finally came and went, once the dust had settled, Bethesda tweeted about how they would be making it up for those who may not have been able to enjoy the game that night, tweeting the following, We know some users have been forced to re-download the Fallout 76 beta, and not everyone will be able to enjoy the game tonight. To make good, we'll be extending the beta for everyone on Thursday, November 1st, 2pm to 11pm. Thank you for your patience. You know, I've become rather accustomed to Bethesda's notorious propensity for playing host to game-breaking glitches and bugs, but even by their standards, I was admittedly not expecting a bug that would just delete preloaded game files. Now, I feel like the bug was likely less on the game side of things and more on the Bethesda client side. And the Bethesda client is something that people have long been complaining about due to its numerous inconveniences, lack of key quality of life features, and technical mishaps. Bethesda is keen on following in the footsteps of companies like EA and Activision by confining their game releases exclusively to their proprietary 
proprietary client rather than putting their games out on platforms like Steam, where most PC players congregate. But this endeavor has proven to be more of a hassle than anything for consumers, especially because the client is so lackluster and unrefined. Nothing highlights this more than this latest incident, which has only diminished Skeptic's faith in Bethesda's ability to deliver a polished product when Fallout 76 launches. Then again, Bethesda is making up for it by extending the beta on November 1st, so instead of a 5-hour session, players will be able to enjoy the game for a whopping 9 hours, so that's good. It's also worth noting that this is a beta, so as frustrating as this whole ordeal might have been to some, I say it's certainly better to catch this bug now than when the game launches. The whole point of a beta is to search and destroy instances like this, so as long as something like this doesn't happen in the final version of Fallout 76, it's good to just get this stuff out of the way now. But one area that I continue to be concerned about lies with the mixed reception I've been hearing about Fallout 76's performance on PC. Some have been reporting relatively good frame rates, while others have faced a significant amount of instability, despite owning some pretty impressive desktop hardware. Not to mention the numerous amount of in-game bugs and glitches that permeate throughout the experience, which have sadly become hallmarks of Bethesda Game Studios titles. The hope is that all of these kinks will be ironed out two weeks from now, but one has to wonder if two weeks will be enough time to drastically polish and optimize the game, especially considering that all of these technical mishaps can primarily be attributed to the creation engine, a poorly aging game engine that's essentially the culmination of a patchwork of enhancements layered on top of the rocky foundation that is Gamebryo. Judging by Bethesda's past history, I would say that the chances of Fallout 76 running and playing buttery smooth on launch day is next to nil, so if you're among those looking forward to delving into this title, I would brace myself for a rocky few first days or weeks. However, as long as Bethesda avoids something as devastating as a game-deleting bug, those looking forward to this game might be able to push through the rough edges. I just hope that Fallout 76 is the last we ever see of the creation engine, which ran its course a long time ago. The good news is that Bethesda is seemingly working on new technology for next-gen titles like Starfield and Elder Scrolls 6, so fingers crossed that a new engine is being built and optimized from the ground up. Especially since Bethesda at this point has made more than enough money from its numerous highly successful releases to be able to invest in the development of a long overdue new engine. While they're at it, they should fix their Bethesda client and put more attention onto its features if they wish for players to come to terms with their decision to stop releasing their games on the more stable Steam platform. These are one man's thoughts and opinions anyway, I'd love to hear what your experience has been with Fallout 76's beta on PC in the comments below. With that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoy my content and would like to support this channel directly, consider donating on Patreon. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out. <laughs>